Hey, this is Dr. Steve from Body Solutions. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, so I have some thoughts to share recently about some hot topics that's been going on in Body Solutions, right? So some hot topics, we've had seminars about happiness. You know, Aline was a guest that came from uh, Austin, Texas that kind of mapped out what is happiness for people? What is the blueprint for your internal happiness? So I figure in this video, we'll talk about some happiness tips. Now I know, interestingly, a lot of people come, whether it be for a physical injury or maybe you're trying to improve your body and you work out with a trainer, basically you're unhappy with the way your body is right now. And we're like sort of the happiness providers. We basically fix your body to alleviate the pain so you can function. We can also help you lose body fat so you feel better. But ultimately, I wanna talk about how do you accomplish that and keep that happiness and keep the feeling of being satisfied with your body? And ultimately that has to do with your mindset. And so um, it's interesting, like we're in a business of changing bodies, but we're also in the business of making you happy with your body now, right? So while we've sort of mastered the changing body part, I wanna really address how do you become happy with your body now? And ultimately that's about being grateful for what you have. And a lot of us don't take time during the day to be grateful for anything. We take a lot of things for granted and we're so busy these days. I mean, almost every patient, every client that we run into, it's like, I'm so busy, I don't have time for this, I don't have time for that, and I don't have time for this. And what I recommend uh, that you do is on a daily basis, you can wake up and just think about, and, and especially if you can, write down a few things that you are grateful for. Because there's so many things we take for granted. Like, you know, I know myself, I mean, really when I moved to the States, we had like no money. We like got furniture from picking out of the trash. And so for me, I'm grateful just having furniture in my house. Like we did not have that or the luxury of having nice furniture in the house. You know, when I was younger um, in Taiwan, we literally like went in latrines. There were no bathrooms, right? And so now we have bathrooms. Like I'm thankful and grateful for having bathrooms. So think about your life and think about things that you, you take for granted and things that you should be grateful for and kind of write those down every day. And what happens is you get into the habit of being grateful for some of the things and just focusing on being grateful instead of what you should have and what you want. I mean, it's great to have goals, but it's just as important to be grateful for now, right? So that's a, a one big tip. The second big tip is take time and focus on your breathing. We're so busy, we forget to focus on our breathing and actually think about the one thing we need on a very regular basis, more so than water and food. It's air and breath and oxygen. So take your time and focus on your breathing and try to do more um, diaphragmatic breathing or abdominal breathing where you inhale and your stomach goes out and you exhale and the stomach goes in versus chest breathing, which is you inhale and your chest goes up like this and your chest goes down. So you basically want to breathe without your chest moving up and down with only your stomach going in and out. And again, it goes out when you inhale and exhale and it goes in. Why is this important? Well, let's look at it from Eastern and Western philosophies. From a Western philosophy, they know that when you chest breathe, you stimulate stress hormones, right? These are hormones that get you ready for action. While that's great if you're you know, in sports or if you're being chased by a lion, not good if you're just kind of sitting around doing things because these constant release of these stress hormones overrides the normal chemical process of your body, it basically changes and throws off and disrupts the chemical process of your body and that leads to disease, illness, not feeling good. Right, so from an Eastern perspective, when you abdominal breathe and your stomach distends or your diaphragm distends, it helps circulate the chi or the life force of your body throughout your body, right? It's how you distribute this essential energy within your body that the Asians have sort of mapped out. And it's actually been proven by French scientists that it actually does exist in our body, right? And so I want you to follow those two tips. Be grateful and then of course focus on your breathing on a regular basis and be happier.